for anybody to suggest that the majority was not reaching out, was not building consensus, that person, that person was really getting it wrong. Because for a whole week, I know of prominent chiefs, very prominent and respected chiefs, who engaged my side and engaged Mr. Speaker and transmitted some communication to me. I won't mention their names. They transmitted some communications to me that Mr. Speaker was in fact even going to convey Parliament without our recall application and that I should reach out to him. I went to his residence two occasions. They said he was not available. Later, I communicated to that prominent chief. The prominent chief reached out to him. He picked his call, but he didn't pick my call. And then told me that, oh, Mr. Speaker says he's busy with some visiting speakers of uh, African Parliament. So we should make it Monday morning, 10 o'clock. Monday, I spent my whole day in Parliament. Mr. Speaker was not available. Tuesday, same. Later in the afternoon, I was told that Mr. Speaker was challenging the awkwardness of the court. So he has instructed his lawyers to file a motion to set it aside. So we should go to court. When we return from court, we'll see what to be done. Put that aside. The Council of State reached out to me again that they have spoken to Mr. Speaker, and Mr. Speaker concedes that he has not made a ruling and that the NDC will move to their own seat. He gave them the assurance. Council of State communicated that to us. We said, okay, if in all of these, Mr. Speaker decides to resile, what should I do? I should go and sit on the minority seat? Spiritually, it's not even good. <laughs> you have three weeks to election. I should go and sit on minority. Is that my seat? I won't dare sit there. I will never do it. I will never do it. That's not my rightful place. I should go to minority, spiritually make myself a minority person. No. And bind my colleagues. We won't do that. No MPP person will do that. In any event, we were privy to certain things that we cannot make public. That if our colleagues had entered the chamber to attempt to enforce their right, perhaps we wouldn't be here. So in fact, we are decent-minded people. We respect the court. We respect the law. Our doors are open to Mr. Speaker's call. I repeat, our doors are open to Mr. Speaker's call.